Hi there, here's another lesson with Miss Anderson's Marvellous Maths. So today we're on session six, can you believe that? And first things first, who can remember what we were thinking about yesterday? That's right, we were learning about counting in tens. Now, I wonder if you can remember how to count in tens. That's right, it's every tenth number. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and they're also the numbers that end in zero, aren't they? So today, before we start our new learning, we're going to have a little bit of a game to warm up our brains. It's always important to do that, isn't it? So this is the estimation game. Now on the screen here, I've got some um, bugs and some butterflies. Now without counting them, I want you to have a look at them and think which one has most. Are there more butterflies or bugs? If you need some time to think about it, you can press pause. Now, let's see if you were right. Did you think the bugs had more or the butterflies? Let's count them and see, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are thirteen bugs. Now I think I might count. The next one's in twos. Let's see if we can do it in twos. You ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Oh no, you can't count those in twos. One more than sixteen is seventeen. So which one had more? Yes, that's right, the butterflies. Now you could look at that and think that the line looked longer as well, couldn't you? But that doesn't always work if your picture's a little bit wider. So today, you will need your counting objects. Now you're not going to need as many as 50, but hopefully you've still got your 50 little bits of paper or whatever you used yesterday. Now today, we are thinking about one more. Now, do you know what one more means? I'm going to move down there. Yes, does it mean the amount becomes greater or fewer? That's right, it means that you're going to have more, the amount will be greater. So here we've got a stack of six books, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I add one more, I'm going to put another book on that stack, so the stack will get taller, the stack will get bigger. There will be more, there will be a greater amount. We're not taking any away, are we? So it can't get smaller, it's going to get bigger. Right, let's move on. Now here we've got some fish. There are 10 fish here, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I add one more fish, if one more fish swims along, how many will I have? What's one more than 10? You could use your number lines that we used in another lesson, couldn't you, to help you here? So are you ready? One more than 10 is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are eleven little fish. Did you get it? Well done. Now, I wonder if we've got some more fish. Oh, there's quite a few more. Let's count them. I'm going to give you a moment to count these by yourself. So, are you ready? Go. Okay, let's count them together now. So, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There are now twenty fish. Twenty fish. So if one more fish joins them, how many fish will there be? Yay, yeah, that's right. There are now. 21. 20 fish, add one more fish, is 21 fish. Now let's see our next screen. Did you get 21? Hooray, well done. Remember, it's really important to be proud of yourself if you've done a good job. So we're going to move on now to a bit of a bigger number. So are you ready? How many balloons are there here? Hmm. I'm going to give you some time to count these by yourself. And I really, really want you to try your best 
and think about how many are there. Remember to super count. Do you remember what super counting is? That's right, it's counting every object one time. Now these are in bunches. So you're gonna to have to be really careful and not in a nice neat line like we've done before. So pause yourself and give them a count. You ready? Now, how many did you count? How many were there? That's right, there was 10, 20, 30, 40, plus two more, 42. Did you count in tens or did you count in ones? I wondered what you would do. Now, if we added one more to 42, how many will we get? 43, did you get it? There they are, 10, 20, 30, 40. Add one, two, three, 43. Well done if you did that. That's a very big number, isn't it? Now, I'm going to set you off on a task. You've got your counting objects. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab a handful of them and count them. Now we've learned how to count them, haven't we? Now I don't mind if you count them in ones or twos or fives or even tens, but you're going to count them. Then you're going to figure out how many there will be if you add one more. Then you're going to add one more, count them again and see if you were right. And you're going to carry on doing that, adding one more each time. You can even take some away and then add one and see what number you get so that every single time you end up with a different number. Press pause, give yourself lots of nice time to do that. And remember, challenge yourself. Don't just do five because you can count to five already, can't you? Try and do one of those bigger numbers. You've got 50 counting objects. If you're using little squares of paper, maybe you could cut some more and add those to it and see. I wonder if any of you will get to a bit really big number like 100. Well done, over to you. You're going to carry on with that task now and I'll see you in a moment. How did you do? Was it good fun? See, you really can, can't, you really can count everything, can't you? Now, I hope you challenged yourself. What number did you get to? Fabulous. Oh, well done. And this, you don't just have to do this job once. You could do this job again, couldn't you? Next time, maybe get to an even higher number. Now, in the next session, we're going to be learning all about one less. But until then, see how many times today you say or hear the word more. Maybe at dinner time when you say, Mom, can I have more pudding? Or maybe when you go out and say, oh, look, there's some more leaves on the trees. See if you can hear that word more today. Goodbye. I'll see you next time.